Two friends with a passion for the Kootenays have helped uncover some of the history of the region and have brought it back to life. Eric Brighton and Greg Nesteroff run a Facebook page called Lost Kootenays. It represents the diverse histories of the East and West Kootenay region. As Nesteroff tells Castanet, the success of the Facebook page has also turned it into a book. Back at the start of this year, we just uh, got a message out of the blue from this publisher in Nova Scotia, McIntyre Purcell, who uh, asked us if we were interested in turning it into a book. And I guess one of the sort of ways that they come up with ideas for books is to search for uh, Facebook sites, particularly historical Facebook sites that have a lot of followers. And, and they saw that, we, you know, at the time, you know, we were probably closing in on 40,000 and since it's since passed 50,000. Um, and so I thought there was kind of a built in audience, a ready made audience for, uh, for such a book. And uh, we thought about it and thought, why not? Nesterov said he's always been under the impression that a lot of the histories in the Kootenays had already been made public. But as it turns out, there are still plenty of stories to be told, and sharing those stories is just something both he and Brighton are passionate about. There's, there's all sorts of things that uh, remain to be discovered or uh, that hadn't really people hadn't been paying attention to, or that we get to take advantage of uh, new tools like digitized newspapers to discover things that, you know, have been hidden for all these years. So. I've just always been very interested in, in, in the history of this area and, uh, and the Facebook site and the, uh, the book were just an extension of that. The Kootenai native said the Facebook page has always been a huge help in revealing missing details in certain stories, including this one. I was trying to track down a story about a miner from Nelson. He was uh, from Italy and he saw a woman's face in a postcard and he fell in love with her in the postcard and he started corresponding with her in England and eventually went over to England and, and married her and it was a uh, at the time it got a huge amount of attention in the in the press both in England and, and in other countries and I was trying to find out uh, what became of him and, and trying to locate any descendants and I was wasn't having very much luck doing that and so we posted a or posted a message on the Lost Kootenay site and it took about 20 minutes for me to get a message from his granddaughter. The book Lost Kootenays is available at Costco in Kelowna and Kamloops as well as at independent and chain bookstores in the Kootenays and online at ilovebooks.ca. Castanet News, Jaden Wozni, Kelowna.